In this experiment number two, we are going to draw the exercise using drawing and modifying commands. So in exercise number 2.1, it is belongs to inch system. So we are going to use imperial drawing template. Now let's discuss the strategy. So to draw ellipse, we'll use ellipse command. Here for the ellipse, the major axis and minus axis dimensions are given. So first we are going to draw ellipse. Then we are going to place this smaller circle having 0.33 diameter. Then the second one which is having radius of 0.39. And thirdly we are going to place this larger circle having diameter of 1.45 by respective dimension given from the center of ellipse. After that we try to put or try to draw the hexagon which is having dimension of 0.79. Here the dimensions are given from center to side. So we have to use circumscribe options of polygon. After that if you look at very carefully the upper part that is this curvy part having arc and another arc right is symmetric about horizontal axis. So we are going to try to draw this part and then we'll mirror it for the bottom part right. So let's switch over to complete this exercise in AutoCAD. So start ellipse command and choose these options axis and end. Here I will enter 3.41 dimensions. So that will draw horizontal major axis. Now for the another minor axis which has got dimension of 2.23 we have to divide 2.23 because it is a requirement of ellipse command. So just press control 8. It will invoke the calculator. Here we still have an active command ellipse. So we can use directly 2.23 divided by 2 and press enter. Now this is the answer. So for that to utilize this answer simply press apply. So this value will get entered at the bottom of command prompt and press enter. So here we have ellipse of 3.41 and 2.23. Now let's draw the circles. So the first circle is on the right side by 1.32 distance. Now its dimensions is di in terms of diameter. So right click diameter which is 0 0.33. Now repeat the circle command. Use same center. This time radius will be 0.39. So 0 0.39. Now let's draw another circle from the same center of ellipse on the left side by 0.79 dimensions. Now this time diameter is right click diameter 1.45. Now let's try to draw the polygon. Here you can either type pol polygon or simply go in draw panel and select the polygon command. Right under the rectangle you'll find the polygon command. Now here it will ask you how many sides of polygon you want. Here we have hexagon so we are going to enter 6. Now specify center point so we will use this circle to specify the center. Now immediately it asking me options. Either you want polygon in inscribe circle or circumscribe. Now if you look at very carefully the dimension is 0.79. So imagine from its center to sides dimension is given. So we have to use which options just think about it. So we have to use so we are going to use second option circumscribe. So look at this. So from center to side distance is given. Now here it is 0.79. So what we are going to do press control 8 and use the calculator 0 0.79 divided by 2 enter and press apply and make sure the ortho mode is on. If it is not, just go and make it on and press enter. Now we have uh, almost uh, the drawing is ready. Now the upper part is left out. Now let's draw this arc having radius of 1.9. So let's draw another circle at the center. This is their center and the radius is 1.9. Okay. Now let's strip this circle. This part, be careful while trimming the this circle. Okay. Now let's draw 
this part that is C space right click tangent tangent radius so click here and click here so radius is 0.25 now let's draw another circle right click tangent tangent radius here and here the radius is 0.13 now let's try to trim this part tr space trim so this part and this part okay we are going to trim out and also trim out additional small arc of a given circle now let's try to replicate this part horizontally so go for mirror command mirror select this part right click and select the horizontal axis now i what it says erase source object no we want to keep the source and we want to replicate it the answer will be no now let's try to remove this part of a circle to complete the exercise so for that we are going to use trim command now let's try to draw the uh, center lines so for that go to center line layers and pick up the center lines like this now let's draw another horizontal line I hope a student you have understood how to complete this exercise. If you have any doubt, just pause the video and try to follow the steps uh, in sequence to complete the exercise.